What's good, family? Good afternoon. I'm breaking out again. Psh, that's how you know I was not eating right for Thanksgiving. But it's your boy D Hoops. It's your boy Darius, and I'm back with another blessing. You feel me? Um, yeah, somewhat skin hoops in the building, man. You know, got the new hoodie and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Got the bar over. Hey, bro. Hey. Hey, man. I'm living a great life, man. Living, just living the life, man. That God want me to. God want me to, you know, use for myself, man. And I know y'all see the title of this video. A lot of you guys that play games, you know what I'm about to talk about. Even if you don't play games, I feel like you would know what I'm talking about. You know. <laughs> Bro, when it comes to video games, guys, man, them shits is not the same no more. They not. And when I mean not the same, it's just the fact that you gotta realize... A lot of these people, it's like a it's it's like a job now. It's not a hobby no more. So you gotta realize you can get paid off of playing video games. And just by by knowing this, you can change your life and your family life just with money that you obtain. But if you really think about it, a lot of people don't see it that way. A lot of people just they want games to be fun as a hobby. I don't wanna have to come home from work. No, just speaking for some of y'all out there. Y'all can relate. I don't want to have to come home from work. And, you know, I just want to get on the game, just chill, man. Play with my friends, play some 2K, NBA, MLB, Call of Duty, whatever. I just want to, I just want to play. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be negative, but I want to, you know, just have a fun time, man. Just doing whatever. Okay. Boom. Y'all get on. It be niggas. It can be kids or grown men. Somebody out there going stupid as soon as the game start. They you dying, you dying, you dying, you keep responding, or you, you play 2K, you keep losing. It's just like, okay, then you got hackers, you got all these people who want to hack, they want to cheat, be like guys on this game because in real life they are, they're dweebs, they're losers, they don't get that love at home, so they want to cheat on the game and ruin it for everybody. So, you have some perspectives, but you got to realize stop letting this shit get to you, stop letting this shit stress you out. At the end of the day, you can really be good at your hobby and you can turn it, you know what I'm saying, to a situation where they're going to have to pay you because you're that good. You know, now if you're not in it for the money, cool. By all means, you can still play the game and people will just know you off how good you are. And you're just that good, but you don't take it that serious no more. A lot of you are getting older. You don't care for video games because it's just like, you know, you're out that phase. A lot of you, no, that's okay. It's hard to grow up. It's hard to grow up. It's hard to understand that you know you can be in reality you don't gotta be on the game all day because a lot of y'all y'all be on that game 24 7 that should be crazy and it's like if you grown you should at least have some responsibilities with yourself for you you know what i'm saying and look like it, that's your wind down time your calm down time cool but don't be on the game for like five six hours bro like especially when you got kids at home your girl at home you know if you're not where you want to be in life don't you know what I'm saying? don't get on the game and just stay there when you're not accomplishing nothing right now because you still need to you still want to be somewhere in life so don't if it mind you if playing games is your like you want to get paid for that you make that your career path by all means go ahead but if not you know what I'm saying? you don't gotta be on the game all day because you still haven't gone out into the world and actually accomplished something you just want to stay on the game so and this is always remember too this is the matrix my nigga like don't get caught up into this reality where you lose your sense of who you are you know by by talking shit to people all day or trying to accomplish accomplish little game goals and shit and you're trying to just beat it, you're getting mad, stressing yourself out. Don't sit there and do that shit, man, because you, you guys remember, it's a video game. It, it's, that's just how it is. And plus, when you chosen in this matrix, man, you know, you already know what devices. We, we don't make them devices. We don't play games from where we're all from. You know what I'm saying? Do you think when you die, you finna go play a video game? Come on, man. Like... Really think about that, guys. You're not going to know. When you go back to where you come from, you're not going to be playing video games you know, in that lifetime. You're going to be actually doing stuff in reality. So it's just kind of like, don't sit here and cry and throw controllers, break shit. You know, like it ain't that serious. But like you got to really sit there and think about that. And then it's just the fact that now online gaming is so different. I mean, y'all can, you know, can back me up on this because, man, it just comes like, for okay, let's say you're a woman, per se, right? A lot of women, man. From what I heard, I ain't gonna know no names out there, but from what I heard, man, a lot of women get treated badly and degraded just because they they a woman. They get treated so bad. Like, it be from kids and adults, man. A lot of niggas, if they see like a, a woman is good at the game, 
or she whipping their ass, you know, cooking up or some shit, any type of game, niggas gonna send them, send them the girl message saying like, man, you know, you's a bitch, you, do, you know what I'm saying, you, why you in the game, go go make me some food, make me a sandwich, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, just that shit corny. Like, it's like, nigga, grow up, bro. We are living in a world where women can do the same shit men can do, but there are slight differences within us. So don't sit here and think, I'm just saying, men can do everything, my nigga. Like, I'm not saying that. But when it comes to certain situations in life, we all can we all can complete them. We all can play video games. So like, it's not that hard to literally be good at a game. You just have to sit there and know the patterns of the game and the algorithm. It's not that hard. But some people don't know that. But it's just when you think about it, Women get disrespected to a different type of level. A lot of guys, you know, probably not. But when it comes to women, it's like, if a woman is better than us, we, we got motherfuckers who will outright blast their ass, bro. That shit be crazy. Like, talking shit on them, saying they suck. You know, that shit be crazy. So it's just like, when it comes to guys, too, we don't really get that disrespect. But, of course, it just be niggas who are insecure with themselves. You know, NPC-ass niggas, you know, they're not succeeding in life. So they want to ruin the fun for everybody. Watch out for them kind of niggas. But, you know, it's just it's just crazy. Games really aren't fun no more because a lot of us just want to get on the game, play with our friends, and we, we want to just have a good time, man. We don't want to have to sit here and have a try hard. Niggas don't even wear deodorant on their arms and shit. Kill us, you know, keep on trying to follow us in 2K, playing Call of Duty, like you hacking, like GTA, you know, all these games don't be fun because motherfuckers really are miserable in real life. So they take their misery, put that shit into a game. And it's just like, bruh, we can't even enjoy the game that we want to play. So it's just like, why bother? I don't even give a fuck no more. Like Call of Duty came out. Niggas is already about to get Master Prestige probably. Like you really think about that. Like niggas selling the game, probably ain't getting no bread today. You know what I'm saying? Account and money's not everything. But it's just like, these niggas want to chase this game goal, career path. And it's just like, you know, <laughs> bro, they'll do anything to ruin y'all. They like they want to be that good. They find they have to prove a point. But you all you want to, so you you're just proving a point to other niggas that you good at game. It's like you know we really just want to play. We don't want to have to sit here and get clapped. But with niggas who use aimbot still, niggas are still out here using cheat codes in the game. Y'all niggas got zens on 2K. I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna forget that. I'll be playing 2K a lot. A lot of these niggas are using Zins. You know what a Zen is, man? Motherfucker who can shoot green bean wasabi threes and shit. And that shit, it goes in every time. Every time. Like, it should be crazy. And if you don't know what a Zen is, just go on Amazon. I know a lot of y'all niggas got that shit. I don't got that on me, that shit, you know, because your boy, mwah, you know what I'm saying? Sharp shooter out here. So, therefore, I don't need them. I don't need that. But, man, shit just be crazy, bro. It's just. As well, I just feel like, man, a lot of time, bro, <laughs> like, niggas are just weird. A lot of you niggas, man, y'all be playing with girls, and it's like, y'all be falling in love and shit, and then it's just like, y'all start to ruin shit for everybody in the chats, and then on top of that, it's just kind of like, man, you know you don't even care about shorty, bro, because it's, it's like, it's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, a lot of y'all niggas got to stop sexualizing women on this game, bro, and just play the game. If y'all see each other in person or whatever, cool, that's your business. Do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Do your whoop de whoop whatever. But majority of the time, bro, a lot of you niggas are just weird. Y'all y'all, y'all be like, send me news, or my dick's hard. Shut the fuck up. Stop playing the game and suck my wee-wee. You know, y'all, y'all know how y'all niggas be doing, bro. So it's just kind of like, bro, y'all be ruining that shit for everybody, because it's like, Damn, what if I think Shorty Q and she got the game? I just want to, you know, like, bro, what What if I want, you know what I'm saying? But you want to ruin it because you horny. You horny. And you live in fucking Iowa and we both stay in Atlanta. So who really going to, you know what I'm saying? Who really going to get the girl first? It's like, bro, but we ain't worried about that. I just want to goddamn play the damn game. But it's just so many people out here take this shit too serious, man. It's like... It's like a lot of you niggas act like y'all paying your mom on life support with this motherfucking shit. If you are... That's cool. I understand. Do your thing. But if you not and you just want to ruin our fun, ruin the gamers that just want to just, you know what I'm saying, be competitive on a rare basis. We just want to play. Like, damn, can we have that, please, bro? Games have changed, man. It's like there's no effort. All these games are the same. And it's just, man, I always understand this Matrix, bro. <laughs> you know where video games come from. That, that doesn't come from our creator. Of course, that was somebody's manifestation, but realize them shits trap you into a world you feel like it really matters, but it doesn't. Who you are in real life determines everything. Just not that not just because you're good at moving your fucking thumbs and shit on some buttons. You feel me? Shit really does happen outside. So 
please touch some grass. <laughs> Touch some grass for me real quick, you know. Just, like, let me know the texture of the grass that you see outside. And actually go be with the sun. You know what I'm saying? Go actually get up and go do something. A lot of you want to be something in life, but you put your ass on that video game hours and ain't putting in no work today. You ain't even thank the Lord for another day. So, it's just kind of like, you know, what are you really doing? If video games is not bringing you any revenue or it's not helping you in a situation in life, why are you devoting so much time to it? <laughs> Like you complain, you stretch yourself out, you damn near cry about it. A lot of you will throw tantrums and shit. And it's just not, it's like, is that supposed to make you feel that way? Really sit there and have a balance of video games. You don't have to think about it. If a game has you popping your veins out, it has you screaming, throwing controllers, punching shit, talking about people's moms, trying to find their address. If a game makes you feel like that, I want you to look in the mirror and ask yourself. Is it really that serious? I'm gone.